Detective Luck assumes that the victim must have been tortured for several days to be that. They also notice a strange dagger lying on the crime scene. With his skills, Mo can easily teach them a lesson, but he chooses to avoid as if he knows something about the murder. Immediately after, he runs to the about the recent murder case, but he is dismissed. Following that, he pins arms. By now, they are surrounded by policemen who take them under custody. Mo finally meets her and claims that the person who died was his former. He isn't looking for revenge or money. He wants to fight with the best country. He can help them find the killer. The detectives assume he is making things. The names are of the fighters who he has fought and defeated over the years. A dagger and writing the name King Yi on the wall. King Yi alone in the showroom. The killer suddenly appears on top of the skull, on top of the skeleton. When King Yi notices that Yu Sao's legs are teeth. Eventually, Yu Sao traps his opponent's leg between his. Studies the profiles of the seven names provided by Mo, but finds no similar that he formed a famous martial arts club and was a teacher before his impressive's talk. They get the news about King Yi's death. Detective Luck expecting the order of killings. Mo has realized that the killer is targeting his victim, so his next target will probably be Hitmon Top. I mean, the police arrive at the location. They see the wrestler's body being thrown. His evil smile makes him realize that he is the murderer. Disappears, leaving Mo and the police ashamed that they couldn't catch him. Taking, they are happy to be reunited after three years. It is amazing that only for self-defense and protect him from making the same mistake that got him in Bo. A limping man came to their martial arts school and asked her to keep the deck. Shows us Yu Sao with his late wife, who had cancer. She was from thinking about her inevitable death. Back in the present, Mo and Dynasty, it was given to the person who lost in a martial arts fight, the cop his cancerous wife in a nearby town. Yu Sao was born with a disability. Following that, Mo calls Detective Luck, saying that he has a lead and moved away. The landlady claims that she never saw Yu Sao do anything other. Police find writing on the wall that says that he has lost everything in his life and plans to kill more. That was honestly a pretty shallow swords. After a long and fierce match, Yu Sao slits the man's throat to do the same, but he seems to be hiding something from them. Once, when most that he is the final person Yu Sao wants to fight. Detective Mo is sitting alone in the room when he remembers the day before the first murder took and send a SWAT team to his house. They search around it but find no one orders a redeployment and makes the police stay hidden until Yu Sao for her death. Yu Sao couldn't see her in such a condition anymore, so cautiously wait for him to come closer so they can attack all at once. However, an officer investigating the CCTV footage from the prison finds out that to get him out of prison. Meanwhile, Sin Ying has set off to look for Yu Sin Ying and Yu Sao meet inside of his house. She hangs longer. They get into a fight, and Sin Ying, who is also a trained fighter, and calls for help. He notices Yu Sao just outside the house, has to get on top of another boat, and drives away. He eventually crashes aved. He calls Detective Luck and tells her that when he first got Yu Sao while he was still in prison, he was unaware that Yu Sao would use the knowledge to he kept the secret so he could come outside the prison and save his wife at his target's house. Although Mo has a chance to run him over, he doesn't and begin the battle in the middle of the road, almost matching in the street where Yu Sao is almost hit by a vehicle. Following that, ends up under a car that drags him a little further. It is enough to at the right time and shoots him dead. In the end, Mo is taken shortly. In the last scene, we see Mo and Sin Yang taking pictures of the channel out. Thank you for watching.